We continue now with the JFK assassination part 8 and the smoking guns. Now what the Warren Commission defenders want you to believe is that these trained professional doctors here at Dallas who dealt with gunshot wounds almost on a daily basis they couldn't tell the back of the head president's head from the top of his head that's what you, they want you to believe folks and you can believe them if you want to because there's no law against it <laughs> believe whatever fairy tales you want to believe and perhaps this explains why the woman standing nearly right next to Mary Mormon filming the motorcade why that film has never been seen Yes, Lee Oswald certainly looked guilty of a lot of things in this case. But when you look at his demeanor, it's either one of two things. He was either guilty in covering it up, or he had, he had infiltrated a plot to murder the president and got caught in the middle as the patsy. One of the two things happened here. And as far as the uh, Warren Commission, um, here's the testimony the doc Dallas doctors gave him. The uh, FBI agents that were present there at the autopsy reported as well as surgery of the head area, namely in the top of the skull. And the Dallas doctors uh, were telling the Warren Commission, along with uh, many others, right side of the head, the back of the head, posterior skull, occipital region, right part, posterior part, and on and on and on, every one of every single one of them. And not only them, not only uh, Zapruder and the rest, but there were many other witnesses there. The Newmans. Here's a couple more. Herschel Jacks, a Texas Highway Patrolman. Before the president, a body was covered. It appeared that the bullet had struck him above the right ear and near the temple. Emmett Houston, who was another closest eyewitnesses, he looked like it hit him somewhere along a bit, a little bit behind the ear and a little bit above the ear. Here is Clint Hill, the Secret Service agent that went with the president to the hospital. What did he observe? The right rear portion of his head was missing. It was laying in the rear seat of the car. So now, what the Warren Commission was told all of that, they only had two choices. Explore it and find out the reasons why, or deny it, and falsify, and falsify their report, which they did. Right here. In the Warren report, the autopsy disclosed a large head wound observed at Parkland. Pure forgery. That's a falsification. That's what they've gotten away with. You know, there's uh, so much... This thing reeks of conspiracy so much, and there's so much of it, one hardly knows where to start here. Well, let's start with the Warren Commission and their report. To begin with, the biggest case for conspiracy can be found in the Warren Report itself. But where it can't be found is in the Warren Commission's collusion, con conclusions or collusions. 
that you won't find this breath of it. And perhaps this could explain why Lee Harvey Oswald would be assassinated in the Dallas Police Department. <laughs>